How's it going everybody? This is uh, I guess week 19 update of my aquariums. So it's been a it's been about three weeks since my last update. Um, so let me uh, catch you guys up on what has changed and let me get these fish fed while I'm going over that. So give them their pellets. So let's see, in the last three weeks, um, on the saltwater aquarium, um, I've noticed my zinnias have been slowly disappearing. Um, I've done a lot of research, and either my water quality is just too clean, or there's not enough iodine. I'm not sure. I don't. I don't really want to start dosing iodine. Um, I do change my water once a week. So, I don't know. Maybe my water is just too clean. But all my other corals seem to be doing great. So you can see my Zoa colony there is spreading nicely. My bird's nest is getting bigger. That Zoa in the back is spreading quite well. Um, this one too is doing pretty good. This little one, I'm not sure. It just, uh, I don't know. We'll see what it does. It hasn't really done too much. So this Montipora is uh, growing. It's finally attached itself to the rock. It was having issues with staying attached to the rock, but now it's finally attached. Still haven't taken Vinny out. <clears throat> I got a container to catch him in, but just haven't done it yet. So there's some more of my zoas. They're growing. Those zoas there growing. Toadstills happy. That toadstool is happy. Yep. I mean, pretty much everything is uh, looking pretty good, pretty healthy. Powder blue is doing good. Um, he does scratch a little bit every now and then. My wife's like, oh, he's got ick. But I don't, I don't think so. I mean, he does have like one or two spots on him. But I don't think it's ick. It's my hammerhead. More Monty. This guy's doing really well. He's finally now growing. And the broccoli. Broccoli is going nuts. There is little broccoli patches all over my tank. And this rainbow stylus seems happy there. And there's my other patch of Xenia, which it's just not very happy. But, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. People say Xenia can become a, a pain. Get their frozen food. Alright, and as for the fish, all the fish are doing great. They're no issues with the fish. Just got to get unlazy to catch Vinny. So in the uh, my quarantine tank, I decided to do kind of a little project. 
So I got this new light here. It's a Seagrow. It's like a 100 watt LED light. Um, I'm trying to grow Chato. So the only thing with my Chato, so this tank is a 13 gallon tank. There was nothing in it. Basically when I do a water change, I drain the water from the display into this tank. So this tank's getting the dirty water from the fish, the display tank. That's what's feeding the Chato. Um, but what I don't like is you can see it's growing hair algae. So if anybody, uh, any of you guys know why, I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe my light is too bright, 100 watts is too much. But the Chato has definitely grown. So I got the Chato about two weeks ago and it's doubled, more than doubled in volume. So the reason why I got it was the Chato in my main refugium, like all of a sudden was like disappearing. It like almost got down to nothing. So I was like, oh great, let me buy some new Chato. But in the time it took for me to get the new Chato, the old Chato started kind of recouping, kind of growing back. And now it's grown back and it looks fine. So I don't know. It's kind of weird. Kind of all at the same time the Xenia started shrinking. So something happened in the tank. It's either, either the tank is now really clear like water, I mean, I've tested everything. All the parameters seem pretty good. Um, I, I don't have a calcium or magnesium test kit. So I need to get a hold of one of those to see what's going on there. But, I don't know. Everything else seems pretty good. So, um, alright. Well, let's go take a look at my freshwater aquarium. Got some Got some upgrades there. So I'll see you in a second over at the freshwater tank. Oh, yep. So yeah, before we head over to the freshwater tank, I'm going to feed the, uh, the coral. So I just thought I'd show you that really quick. So that's what I'm dosing, the AB Plus Inner Reef Energy Plus by Red Sea. I do about 15... 15 ml and you just kind of pour it in gives this yellow cloud you want to make sure you unplug your skimmer and that's probably what's making my coral grow nice and healthy Ever since I've been dosing this, uh, corals definitely have been spreading, growing, looking really good. All right, so now let's head over to the freshwater tank. See you in a second. All righty, here we are at the 100 gallon freshwater aquarium. Um, so you might notice a few changes if you've been watching my videos. Um, I added houseplants. So yeah, I've been kind of battling uh, very high levels of nitrate. Um, I have an API test kit and uh, it tests in the dark red range, which is like 160 ppm. Um, I've seen it come down to 80. But man, I've been doing uh, eight, yeah, about eight, eight to ten gallon water change a week. Uh, doing, you know, vacuuming the gravel when I do that water change, and I just can't get the nitrates to come down. Um, I even switched my feeding up to just frozen cube. Um, I give them, I give them some of the flake food and pellets every now and then. Um, 
But yeah, they're pretty much just getting frozen food now, so... Did some research on some other YouTube channels and, uh... Came across videos of, hey, put some house plants in your aquarium and... It'll solve your nitrate problem. So... I went to my local Home Depot and I picked up, uh, Pothos? Pothos? So that's this plant up here. And then a Syngonium. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but Syngonium, Syngonium, whatever. So the Pothos, you just kind of take it apart, hose off all the dirt, and then you break up the, the seedlings. See, they're kind of the stalks, and then all the roots. I just broke them up into like, like five different bunches. Spread them out. So we'll see what that does. So they've only been on there two days. So I'll do a nitrate test here in, I don't know, another couple days and see if it helps the nitrates. So let's go ahead and get these fish fed. So yeah, the electric blue is loving it because this is all he eats. He only eats the frozen food. Every time I fed the pellets or the flake food, that fish just didn't want to have anything to do with them. So I do want to put maybe two more cichlids in here. I want to put a, I want to replace my yellow um, Severum cichlid. This is the turquoise. He's got pretty big. And then I'm trying to find myself a true pink strawberry peacock cichlid. The ones they sell at the store in my neighborhood, they look orange to me. So I'm not sure if that's just how those fish look when they're younger. So if anybody knows anything about strawberry cichlids and how to find a actual true pink one, let me know. Post it in the comments. So, um, I guess these fish are pretty happy. They've been surviving the high nitrate levels. I did lose a couple fish when, uh, I'm gonna say when the nitrate got up too high. Yeah, I lost, I want to say, probably three or four fish. <clears throat> so I haven't, I've been really reluctant to add any new fish in here until I can get those nitrate levels back in check. So, we'll see how the uh, planted house plants do. Um, they're just pretty much getting light from my fish tank light and then the ambient light in the the room so hopefully they'll do good there's my little zebra placo those guys don't grow too big and of course photobomber so yeah I don't know Angel Jeff he's always looking beat up I guess he always gets picked on. His fins are always ready. I haven't really seen who the culprit is. I don't know who's attacking him, but he's always he's always got nips out of his fins. So, oh, there's my clown loach. That guy's weird. I did want to have three of them, but he's the only one that survived out of about five of them. And he likes going up inside this ornament thing. It's his favorite hideout. Oh, there he goes. Up inside. Alright, well, let's go check out my other tank. I'll see you over there in just a minute. Alright, so here is the 60 gallon which has now just become Broski's tank. Um, we did rehome Potato 
the turtle if you have been watching my previous videos so yeah it's just broski is getting too big so i gave my son the choice i said hey we need to find a home for one of these do you want to keep the turtle or do you want to keep the fish and well you're looking at it he chose broski the koi fish but broski is a pig we're gonna feed him been feeding him these tetra koi pellets Go, Broski. Broski is a pig. He's getting big. He's going to probably quickly outgrow this tank, so... <laughs> I myself have been pretty lazy. I've been trying to build a koi pond in the backyard. But, yeah, just digging through that dirt. Oh, what a pain. So, hopefully... Right now it's winter. Um, my plan is to get it pretty much kind of ready by springtime. So I've been slowly, slowly working at it. So we'll see. Because, yeah, Broski's going to outgrow this tank here probably by then. <clears throat> so if I don't get the pond finished by spring I might have to put broski in my neighbor's pond until I get mine finished so I also added some pothos to his tank so there's the roots they just kind of sit in there and typically I have this window open, but if this window was open right now, you, we would have a really bad quality video <laughs> with all the backlight. So these, this tank and the plants get natural sunlight. That's why I don't have any light. There's no light on this tank. And, uh, I don't know. The water, I've actually never tested this water. <laughs> so I guess I should probably test it just to see where the parameters are. And, uh, yeah. So anyways, if you guys have any comments, if you like my videos, please subscribe. Helps my channel out. Um, like the video. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll, I'm going to try to post updates eh, probably like every two weeks now. So, we'll see how things go. Alright, so if you've stayed and tuned in this far, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, please put those down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And you guys take it easy. Have a good one. See you next time.